Welcome back to new session. This is continuation of stakeholder management knowledge area. In this session, we will study monitor stakeholder engagement process. The learning objective of this session are process definition. We'll talk about input tool techniques and output. Some of the key techniques like interpersonal and team skills, communication skills, alternative analysis, and we'll do a quick review at the end. Let's start with a quick look at four processes under Project Stakeholder Management Knowledge Area. The first process is identify stakeholder process under Initiating Process Group. This is where all stakeholders are identified. Plan Stakeholder Engagement under Planning Process Group. This is where we will develop stakeholder engagement plan. The previous process we learned that was manage stakeholder engagement under execution process group. As I mentioned earlier, this is action oriented process. This is where you talk to stakeholder and you try to foster the relationship. And the last process is monitor stakeholder engagement under monitoring and controlling process group. This process is in the monitoring and controlling process group, but it is not referred as control stakeholder engagement. When it comes to communication, stakeholders and risk management, the processes in the monitoring controlling are referred as monitor rather than control. This is because when you are dealing with people or events, you are dealing with the factors that are mostly outside your control. Monitor stakeholder engagement is very critical as stakeholder engagement may change from time to time. Maybe at the beginning, certain stakeholders are very enthusiastic and were contributing immensely to the project, but this may change. For example, in software project, after application walkthrough, stakeholder may hate project because they believe once system is live, they may lose their job. So monitoring will help project manager to identify such a situations proactively and rectify them. The key activities involved are monitoring project stakeholder relationship, tailoring strategies to deal with various stakeholders, modify engagement strategies, integrate with other knowledge areas such as communications your risk management this is linked to communication so stakeholder engagement and your monitoring stakeholder engagement and communication goes hand in hand maintain increase the efficiency and effectiveness of a stakeholder engagement let's look at definition Monitor stakeholder engagement is the process of monitoring overall project stakeholder relationship and tailoring strategies and plans for engaging stakeholder throughout the project life cycle. The key benefit of this process is that it maintains or increases the efficiency and effectiveness of stakeholder engagement activity as the project evolves and its environment changes. Let's look at input, tool techniques, and outputs. The inputs are project management plan, project documents, work performance data, enterprise environmental factor, and organizational process assets. Project management plan. Stakeholder engagement plan will guide project manager on how to monitor stakeholders. Resource management plan help understand about human resources or project team members and their details. Communication management plan provides strategies to communicate with the stakeholders. It help understand their communication needs. Project documents. Stakeholder register may help identify all stakeholders because that's the requirement for you to monitor stakeholder engagement. Who are the stakeholders? Issue log. It's an important tool 
used to manage and resolve issues. This will help project manager to monitor stakeholder related issues and disputes. It helps you to track end to end progress on the issues and issue resolutions. Project communication provides project manager details about communica communicated reports, yeah, whatever the completed communication. Risk register may contain stakeholder engagement related risk. Maybe some stakeholders are complaining that they are not receiving enough information. Lesson learned register contains lesson learned in the course of managing stakeholder engagement. Work performance data. It's a raw observation and measurements identified during direct and managed project work. It contains the data such as which are the stake, which stakeholder has completed or delayed tasks, milestones, change request, yeah, issues raised by various stakeholders. With this work performance data, project manager will monitor and analyze current level of stakeholder engagement. Tools and techniques are data analysis, meetings, decision making, data representation, communication skills, interpersonal and team skills. Let's look at them one by one. Data analysis. Stakeholder analysis. This technique helps determine the current position of stakeholder with regards to their engagement level. Let's say that the current position of stakeholder engagement is not yet aligned with the desired level. Then how do you decide what to do? Yeah, what are the steps you have to take to make them aligned? So this is where techniques like root cause analysis may help you. So root cause analysis is a technique used to determine the underlying reason why stakeholder engagement is not yet getting the expected results. So okay, now that you have analyzed the root cause, let's say you come up with a few options on how to respond to the variance between current position and the desired engagement level. How do you decide among them? So this is where alternative analysis will be used. So this technique is used to evaluate options to respond to variances in the desired result of stakeholder engagement. Decision making. Let's say you are doing the alternative analysis. You have multiple options. How do you finally make the decision about which option to choose? So this is where we might use multi-criteria decision analysis. So in this technique, several factors for successful stakeholder engagement are prioritized and weighted in order to help identify the most appropriate choice. Another decision-making techniques can be voting. Voting is used to select the best response for a variance in stakeholder engagement. Data representation techniques. The stakeholder engagement assessment matrix is used to chart the progress in bringing the current level of stakeholder engagement to the desired level of stakeholder engagement. Project manager will develop a plan to change engagement from current to desired level. Communication skills. Project manager might use various communication skills like presentation and feedback to ensure you have to monitor stakeholder engagement. Presentation provides clear information to stakeholder and it is more effective than emails and newsletter. Presentation provides an opportunity for real-time reactions with a stakeholder. It also provides an open platform for question and answer session, which can clarify any doubts or unclear information. Feedback. Feedback is used to ensure that information given to stakeholder is received and understood correctly. Interpersonal and team skills, active listening, 
कल्चरल अवेरनेस लीडरशिप नेटवर्किंग पॉलिटिकल अवेरनेस लेट्स लुक एट ईच वन बाय वन एक्टिव लिसनिंग इज यूज टू रिड्यूस मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड मिसकम्युनिकेशन Cultural awareness and local cultural sensitivity help the project manager to plan communication based upon cultural differences and requirements of stakeholder and team members. Leadership, a strong leadership skill will help communicate the vision of your project to stakeholder and it also inspires them to support the project work and outcome. networking it helps project manager to learn about level of engagement of a stakeholder you can get a direct feedback by talking to various stakeholders and finally political awareness this technique is used to un understand the strategies of an organization understand who yields power and influence and it helps you to develop an ability to communicate with this critical stakeholders meetings meetings are used to assess current stakeholder engagement level and compare them to planned level meeting examples are status meetings stand up meetings retrospective meeting in agile environment steering committees or risk and issue related meetings data analysis and data representation techniques can be applied in these meetings to come up with options to align stakeholder expectations the outputs are work performance information change request project management plan update project document updates let's understand them in detail work performance information wpi represent the current status of stakeholder engagement wpi is generated when tools and techniques such as stakeholder engagement assessment matrix is used it will tell you what is the level of stakeholder support to the project as compared to desired level for the wpi your work performance information is contextualized with information from other control processes to generate reports change request change request may be raised to change the stakeholder engagement plan to include new engagement strategies or update existing strategies cr may include corrective actions to improve stakeholder engagement or may be preventive action to reduce the stakeholder issues if any change requests are made as a result then these change requests are processed through perform integrated change control process project management plan update the primary component of overall project management plan update will be stakeholder engagement plan any updates regarding the information about stakeholders are added to this doc, this component the project team's responsibilities for stakeholder engagement activities may need to be updated in resource management plan the communication strategies for engaging with stakeholder may need to be updated in communication management plan project document updates the main project document that need to be updated is stakeholder register the new information about stakeholder is updated as a result of monitoring stakeholder engagement in addition if any stakeholder attitude has changed towards any of the existing issues in the issue log then issue log may be updated lesson learned register lesson learned about challenges and how they could have been avoided should be added to the lesson learned register of course if stakeholder management approaches strategies are working well then these positive lessons should also be added risk register stakeholder specific risk need to be updated as a result of interaction with various stakeholders so this is all about monitor stakeholder engagement process let's do a quick review we learned uh, process definition so what is monitor stakeholder engagement 
It's a process of monitoring overall project stakeholder relationship and tailoring strategies and plan for engaging stakeholders. We also talks about input tool techniques outputs, for example, stakeholder analysis, root cause analysis, alternative analysis. In decision making, we talked about voting and multi-criteria decision analysis, interpersonal and team skills, as well as communication skills like presentation and feedback. Let's sum up this knowledge area in next slide. So let's review project stakeholder management knowledge area. We started with what is stakeholder. So stakeholder is an individual group or organization who may affect or get affected by decision activity or outcome of the project. Four processes are identify stakeholder process under initiating process group. This is where all stakeholders are identified. Under planning process group, we have planned stakeholder engagement where we created stakeholder engagement plan based upon identified stakeholder needs and expectations. Manage stakeholder engagement under execution process group. This is where we communicate and work with stakeholder to meet their needs, expectation, address issues and foster stakeholder engagement. And finally, monitor stakeholder engagement under monitoring and controlling process group. This is about monitoring overall project stakeholder relationship and existing strategies and plan for engaging stakeholder. So this is all about uh, project stakeholder management knowledge area. This is the last knowledge area. And with this, we have completed all 10 knowledge areas. Good job. See you in next session. That's about ethics.